So as you guys know, we are currently in the period of lockdown due to COVID-19. So as for me personally, I don't really do anything productive so far. So today I've been scrolling the news just to make me feel better, like at least I've done something beneficial for today. And I'm shocked. I don't know how to say this, but it rendered me speechless. You guys want to know what I've read and seen on the news today? So these are some of the cases that I've read online. We can see that the suicide case is rising and people are at the verge of a breaking point. Honestly, I feel so bad because I don't even care about what's going on around me before this. Because for me, I think I, I'm not really affected by this pandemic because I'm just a student. Okay, I'm not in the position where I had lost my jobs. I'm not in the position where I had no food to eat for days or weeks. I'm not the one who had lost my family members due to COVID-19. The moment I read the news, I feel so devastated. So today, me and my friends decided to raise awareness on how to take care of our mental health during this hard time, especially for the students. So as for myself, I will be talking about the causes of stress and then my fellow friends will be talking about the activities they did to release their stress. For Arisa, she will talk about watching movies with her friends and move on to Sabrina. She, I think she loves to play with her pets. And Nabila, she has something to say about cleaning your house with your family. And lastly, Zahin will make a conclusion about our topic. The first cause of stress is the work-life imbalance. Currently, the government has implemented working from home policies where everything is conducted online. This is a sudden change. Everyone is not familiar with this system. It's like a trial and everything. As for myself, I'm a student and honestly for me, online learning has drained my energy. It is hard to stay focused in class. It is hard to do assignments, especially group works, I'm doing exam online. Now, everything just requires extra effort. This extra effort has been very overwhelming for the students and made them less, lost track of their time management. I still remember during my last semester, it was almost exam week, so chaotic, I could barely sleep. I sleep for like two or three hours every single day because I had assignment dues to meet and at the same time, I have to study for my examination and at the same time, I have internet connection problems where everything just gets in the way and made it hard for me to get everything done. So I need to put more effort to keep up with the pace of my friends. And to be honest, it was very, very stressful for me. Okay, My next point is lack of connection with others. Okay. As you know, during this pandemic, we are all required to stay at home as lockdown has been implemented. This has definitely made the connection between people becomes loose. Lack of connection with others can discreetly cause stress. For example, people with existing mental health conditions may experience an increase in psychological distress and trauma symptom if they are isolated. People who are at risk at sexual and gender-based violence are likely to experience increased stress as isolation may increase their risk and they are unable to seek for help. And moreover, uh, those who have personal problems might feel stressed out because they don't have anyone to vent out their problems. People cannot go out freely nowadays as they used to. And let's be honest, being at home for months is so, suffo is so suffocating and mentally challenging. handle mental health during MCO. One of the ways to release your stress is by watching movies with your friends. Do you know that watching a movie can also be a form of therapy? Apart from the obvious escaping our own lives and problems for a short time. There are a lot of benefits to watching movies. In fact, it even has a name. It is called cinema therapy. Movies bring us a sense of relief, even if sometimes they stress us out at first. 
Watching something suspenseful releases cortisol, which is the stress hormone in the brain, followed by dopamine, which produces feelings of pleasure. I am a huge fan of watching horror movies, from Turkish horror movies to Korean and Thai. Actually, many more. I usually watch it with my sisters or with my friends through Google Meet, but sometimes I watch it alone. Going out to a movie theater is not available because of the current condition right now. But you can still enjoy watching a movie at the comfort of your own home on the couch or in your own room. And maybe even in your pajamas. The good news is it doesn't matter if you're watching Netflix at home or sitting in a crowded theater. The results are still the same. Watching movies is good for you. can also help you to handle your mental health during MCO and make your day better. I have a stray cat named Chi Chi who is like my best friend in real life and I used to play with her at home. By just petting her and hearing the sounds of her snoring as she drifts off to sleep can help me to get a better sleep at night. Playing with pets can also encourage me to move and do a physical activity more. Their reactions and cute behavior itself while playing help me to put a smile on my face and forget about my life problem. Besides, you will not be feeling lonely and stressed because pets can actually offer you an unconditional love that can be equal to many human friends. So, playing with pets is very beneficial to us mentally and physically. Thank you and have a nice day. I will pass the next part to Nabila. Do you think that your house is clean enough? If your pandemic routine consists of considerable amount of takeout and also Shopee or Zalora deliveries to your doorstep, you may have wondered at some point, could my stuff has coronavirus on it? Hence, it is crucial for us to keep our house clean all the time, not only to prevent from coronavirus, but also to live in a much more conducive surrounding. Cleaning your house regularly using a detergent or soap could reduce the amount of germs and bacteria on surface and reduce the risk of being infected. In most situations, cleaning alone is good enough to prevent from COVID-19. Therefore, Disinfection at home is not necessary unless someone in your home is sick and has been positive for COVID-19. What you need to know before cleaning your house are when and how to do it. First thing first, what we need to have is a detergent and also a good amount of water. And not to forget, wear a pair of gloves as a protection and also to ensure cleanliness. Put adequate amount of detergent into the water. Firstly, focus on high touch surface or surface that we regularly touch, such as doorknobs and also handles. Next is switches. We should clean these areas thoroughly, especially right after we have visitors at home. And last but not least, tablets or gadgets. Bottom line, cleaning your house is one of the activities that you can do with your family during this pandemic. Not only it is fun, but it can also reduce the effect of being infected from COVID-19. As you can see, there is so many ways that we can do to release our stress during this MCO that has been shown by my friend just now. Then before that, I want to share a bit about my experience, how I'm handling my stress issue. So yeah, we as a student, of course, we felt a little bit pressure and during this MCO too, we can't do many things, activities such as 
outdoor activities or spend time with our friends right but we can't make that things as a reason to handle our stress issue there are many things we can do for example uh, what am i doing uh, to handle my stress is like i will play mobile games or reading books or at the same time i will spend my time with my family watching care drama together so to my dear friends out there don't feel too stressed during this mco i know many of you miss our old life before the mco right but yeah i'm sure we can get through all this together and i hope everyone can overcome your stress and especially during this mco thank you bye bye